welcome to this review of ShopPro. Now ShopPro is an app for iOS and you can also get a desktop version for Windows and Mac but the iOS app costs £38, it's really quite expensive, there's no free trial and as you'll see there are some things that I think are not quite right with it or are quite annoying. It has a steep learning curve however it is by far one of the best previous softwares I've ever used and it can do some really good things. So we're going to start a new project. So I'm just going to call this new project. So we start off in this sort of environment and you've just got a camera. You've got this ground and you may or may not want it. So the thing I did was I went to settings and I went to ground and I changed the ground and I thought for my previous that I would prefer this sort of rock. You get a few grounds here, nothing amazing. And you can also change the sky and stuff and you can change the weather. It's rainy, it's snowing, it's foggy. But let's just keep things as they are. Now you'll no notice here we've got sky maps and we need to pay for things. now. I'd find this quite annoying simply because we've paid £38. It's not immediately obvious when you buy the app that you don't get everything, but you don't get everything. And that's really quite annoying. You do get a slate, which is quite useful. Um, I can see the use in that. But I'm going to talk now about props and adding things into the scene. And again, we're going to see that you have to buy things. So if I go to props, if I go to this expansion pack, you can see here all the things that you can buy. Now we've got augmented reality and we've got face and body capture, but they're, they're really quite expensive. To add text and to do drawings, that's another £24. And let's not forget you've already paid for this. Now the nearest competitor is Previs Pro. Previs Pro has a very good free version and then you can pay yearly and you can or you can buy it outright and you get everything. Now, Previs Pro has augmented reality built into the free version. You don't have to pay for anything. So I'm not thrilled that you have to pay for things. Now, we've got cameras, lights, backgrounds and things here. I've not really used any of these and I'm not going to today. We can add in people and we've got quite a lot of people. Now, anyone who is in a blue box or any asset that's in a blue box, you've got to upgrade to get. What I do like is you can design your own people. So if I click on him, so it's, well, as soon as you add someone, it, it adds them in basically. Oh, well, I can change their settings by clicking on designer and I can change their clothes, their hair, various other things. I tend to just use pre-built people to be honest. So once you add them in, you can sort of zoom in. Once you add a prop in, you can zoom in and you can move your camera. So let's pick on the camera. You can move it so that we can see him. So we can see here what the camera sees. And I can just use this dial on the right hand side to fine tune if I need to. Sometimes if you click top, you get, it's easy to see what's going on, but I do like the perspective here. So I can raise the camera up and down I can move it back and move it to the side. I can change the orientation as well. I can, yeah, so I can change orientation here and rotation and I can change the angle as well. The one thing I can't do is just double tap to put it back to its default. I can't seem to do that. Now with the camera, we can use keyframes. So I'm going to add tracks and I'm going to go to animation. I'm going to make sure it's on and I'm going to go to add a keyframe. And what I want to do is I'm going to put it back here and I'm just going to pinch to zoom out. I'm going to put it back and I'm going to raise it higher, tilt it down like that. And I'm going to go all the way to the end and I'm going to add another keyframe and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make it narrower. I'm going to lower it. I'm going to tilt it up and I'm also going to tilt it 
that one as well. A bit of a Hitchcock style thing. So I'm going to go back to the start and I'm going to click preview so we see what happens. So that's really good. So we can click done. This 360, I don't know what it does. I can't work out what it does. So I'm just going to click done. Now, if we go to this actor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to at the start and I'm going to add a keyframe for the actor. And I'm going to add a go here and I'm going to add a keyframe for the actor here. So back to the actor, onto the actor's keyframe. And what I, what I want to do is I want to go all the way down and I want to go to animation and I can pick different animations. So he's going to start off with defeat stand and here on this keyframe for animation, he's going to be ready. So let's preview that again. but we might want to add in an object. So there's loads of things we can add in, but I'm just going to add in a vehicle. I think a vehicle is going to be quite good. Again, you'll see there's lots of things that we have to upgrade and buy. Um, he's out in the desert, so we're going to have a car here. Now, I think that things add in terms of the correct scale. I'm going to turn this around like so. But if we want to change the scale, we can just hold this scale button and we can scale things up or down. So I can make it a toy or I can make it life size. I don't quite know how to go back to what it used to be. So I'm going to put it here. So if we preview this, we can see he's next to a car. That's really good. So there's loads and loads of things we can add in. We can add in these primitive shapes. You've got to buy them all. That's a shame. We can add in outdoor things, building, fences, roads. Let's put a road in. So now let's preview that. Yeah, so we're now starting to build up a really good scene and that's excellent. And I am really impressed with what you can do with this piece of software or this app. It's really good. Some other things you can do that I think are a little bit random is we can add walls, we can add doors, we can add windows. We can give the wall a color. We can add different scenes. We can add animals, people, etc. Different lights, loads of things. And we can get some really good pre-visualizations. And I've not come across any app or any piece of software that can do such a good job so easily. If I go to camera, we've got loads of advanced things we can do. Something you can also do is you can lock props and camera. You can turn them on and off. We've got advanced settings. So things like that. We've got something called handheld. If we go to settings up here and we go to other, we can put high quality on and high quality, you just get slightly better rendering. Now we can export as well. So if I click on export, we can export in, in different formats, but I always pick custom 16 to nine, and we can export in 720, 1080 and 4K as well, which is really good. We can set our frame rates and we can export with audio on or off. We can export as a GIF as well. One of the things I forgot to mention was we can add music so you can't see it very well because this is in the way so i'm going to get rid of that but we've got music already and we've got enough stuff there no escape let's listen to that i don't know how to get rid of the walls unfortunately i've not been able to work that out and how to get rid of the doors they just seem to be there and you can't get rid of them and that's one of the problems with this is that it's really not very intuitive, unfortunately. 
some some of the things are so unintuitive and you try and work them out and it just takes ages so all in all i think it is a good app it is pricey it has a very steep learning curve some of the things seem odd and really unintuitive but i think the results speak for itself you get very good results and you can quickly build your 3d world and pre-visualize what you want it's a thumbs up from me although there's certainly a lot to improve do let me know what you think and thank you and goodbye